Hey Toasts! Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to try and tell you how to make a GFX intro on mobile. So dress up your avatar the way you want it. You can do anything, the character you're, you want in your GFX. Then go to Unique Studio and get the green screen. So put all of the things on the bottom of your in your inventory and get rid of your face put the visibility to off and you're going to try to screen record yourself with slash e wave i use this to screen record but before that dress up your avatar the way that you want it to look because you might not like your avatar right now except there's not much that you can get there's a few things though so basically i'm just gonna try on a bunch of clothes and see what i like now i am going to screen record myself waving now go into blocksburg and either take a picture of a room in your blocksburg house or someone else's i just snuck into my friend's house and took a picture of her living room because you can basically find any room, take a screenshot of it, and use it for your background of your GFX intro. So this is going to be my background. Now you must have recorded the slashy wave on a green screen or it will be pro it probably won't work with the GFX intro, but it still might work. So we're just adding the background to full screen and we are going to add the video of the wave. You're going to crop it to only have the wave and we are going to use chroma key, which basically you turn the switch on and it will get rid of the green screen and it's super helpful in my opinion, so I recommend it. This is chroma key, and I'm going to put my character right here. It is waving. We're just going to try to extend this as much as we can. So, yeah, this is how it is so far. It's not too bad, and then we're going to try to animate this character, but what I'm going to do after this might be confusing, so let's get right into the confusing part. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to take this part of the arm and I'm going to put it on a second layer. After I do that, I'll erase the part of that arm that's on this layer and yeah, it'll be all good. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other arm on, a sec on the third layer. We're just going to stretch this out so it looks even and more normal and stuff. So we are going to make this layer so you can't see it. And we are going to fix this up a little. We are going to stretch it. I know this looks weird, but don't worry. It's going to be all right. And now we are going to erase some, oops, some of this, some of that arm. And we're going to do the same for this arm now copy it, paste it on the other layer, and erase it. Oh, oop, I'm confused. Okay, let me just fix this real quick. We gotta get it even. There we go. Now we're going to erase it on this arm, and we are going to stretch the upper part of the arm out so it looks more normal like the other arm. So just watch how I do this, make that layer invisible, make this more even, and look at my arms. We are also going to make the legs look more natural. <laughs> so now we're just going to basically take a picture of this, make sure it's a green screen behind it, or this will be much harder. Now we're going to get make that layer invisible take a picture of every lower arm individually and now go to kind master we are going to add the picture with the 
arms or short arms on, as a layer and use chroma key to erase the background like that. Then we are going to add one arm, use chroma key, and make it basically look like it is part of the character if it didn't have separate parts. So make it even. Do the other for the same, use chroma key, put it like this, and then make everything so it all ends at the same time. Now we can animate, press the key, and then to animate each part, you're going to press the circle and the plus. So basically look like that. There's a lot of different things you can do and it's super fun. So we can just get right to some of the animating. This is what I have came up with so far. You can also add something that says like toasted bread and then make it like that and then maybe an enjoy thing. So yeah, this was basically my final product. I am pretty happy with it. It's not too bad, but there has probably other tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! Make sure to like and subscribe. I hope there's also other tutorials to help you.